for people we've heard about, um, not just in the visual arts, but musicians uh, and actors and people who have had to work crazy jobs as they've been uh, waiting for their career to get off the ground and, uh, and things like that. that. That definitely happens. There's going to be a period of time when you're starting your career that you have to pay your dues and you have to sort of take jobs that aren't your ideal right off the bat, but that you're going to need to, to have to, to pay the bills and to do uh, what you need to do. At the same time, uh, you're building your resume, you're getting experience, you're making connections. Uh, I've pretty much always been interested in art um, coming from my family. and uh, My family's all about art and so I'm always surrounded by them. Um, I do have a lot of interest in studio art, like 3D art I've taken in high school, I've taken printmaking. I want to go into communication design because communication design is like a broad spectrum. It involves like ad design, graphic design, and like interactive design or interactive media. Originally I wanted to work in advertising. Uh, I knew that would be a better way to get a steady job and did work in advertising for about nine months and found that I could not sit behind a desk. I needed to be more active. So I had been a camp counselor working with high school kids in particular for years up in New Hampshire and decided that that was a great experience and wanted to work more with people and went back to school and got my teaching certification. Let's see, it's been 20 some years ago. Back in 1994, I became an art teacher after getting my master's degree at Tyler School of Art, Temple University. Uh, I did get a bachelor's there in fine arts. Pursuing a career in art, I, I actually born an artist. So for me, I am not marketing myself as of yet, uh, but I'm always creating something. So for me, art is definitely a part of my life. It's not something that I'm uh, sending out or earning money. Uh, it's something that I always do. So as a counselor, my philosophy would always be to encourage a student to follow their passions. At the same time, uh, I think students need to be realistic in um, knowing what's out there, in um, realizing that they're not going to immediately walk into an amazing job. And that's not just in the arts, that's in any career. Being an artist, you have a fairly solitary lifestyle. You work in your studio, you interact with other artists occasionally. Um, I need to be more social. And uh, I also wanted to make sure that I could have food on my plate at night and a roof over my head. And uh, it's very hard to make a living solely from your art. I actually don't know any artists who make their living 100% based on the work that they sell. I definitely think I would get a lot more jobs through graphic design. Um, I never really fully experienced graphic design. It's something new, so I really want to get into that. But um, I also like it because uh, you can apply it anywhere. By like going into interactive media or something, doing a UI interface, um, it's, I can get paid more for that. And then I can branch out into other things and then slowly build up my salary. Training as, as far as formal training as an artist, it helps going to art school was a great thing because I've broadened my experience. Okay, traveling abroad has broadened my experience. Teaching students has been one of the most satisfying um, occupations that I've had. Well, I'm very lucky as a teacher. I spend my summers working on my art. Um, June, the end of June, July, and August, I work in my studio, which is part of my house, a two-car garage, and I work on pieces so that I can enter them in shows in the fall. Um, I enter shows quite often up in New Hope over in the main line, and uh, it gives me a chance to practice being an artist, keeping active with my art, um, but also feeds my teaching because I work a lot with different metals, different woods, plexiglass, and that experience directly helps me become a better teacher in the classroom by knowing what those materials do and how they respond. For students who are serious about pursuing an art major, I think they need to um, do their research, do their homework, uh, find out um, exactly what types of things are available in the art field and, and really assess their, their skill level, um, I think they need to get advice from, from people who know art, from art teachers, um, and I think they need to make sure they're, they're willing to learn uh, as they go and diversify their different skills, take on new skills, uh, and realize that it's, a, it's kind of a long-term uh, 
uh, uh, project to evolve uh, into an art career uh, and to become um, an artist uh, in whatever realm that takes them.